What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have some more WWE action figure news for you guys. Yesterday was very hectic in the action figure community for WWE guys. Ringside was posting all kinds of stuff, but that is not what we're going to talk about. I think a lot of people have already covered, you know, everything we all the stuff that we covered yesterday or the day before with the Elite Series 70 and 71 was actually confirmed by Ringside not for 71 but for 70. We actually predicted the Vince McMahon figure right, but we are getting Seth Rollins Dolph Ziggler Vince Vince McMahon, EC3, Johnny Gargano, and Finn Balor, and we already talked about that. We talked about that in the video before, and I'm glad to see that we predicted it correctly with Vince McMahon, and that we uh, we covered that, and the, the Elite set looks uh, looks hellacious, guys. I wish that the Seth Rollins wasn't a shield attire, but it's still a good overall, you know, uh, figure, and you know, we have Basic Series 100, and then we have Battle Pack 61, which we all talked about the other day, and it looks great. And also, seeing Almas is up for pre-order, and I do not think that it's going to be a Target exclusive. Maybe it reads tell it'll be target exclusive but it looks like it will be a ringside figure and uh, or at least it'll be available for purchase on ringside collectibles but today guys we're not going to be talking about any of that we already covered all of that stuff we're going to get into these new leaked figures right here guys and we have four leaked figures from the Toys R Us website the Toys R Us Canadian website you know I didn't even know Toys R Us even had a website going anymore because of you obviously the shutdown but I think uh, in Canada they all their stores are still open or at least have of them or something like that uh, they're still going and that is very interesting to me but you can still get some figures from Toys R Us I have friends in Canada that still go to Toys R Us so it's pretty interesting but anyways let's talk about this um, this comes to me from one of my followers on Instagram at Danny D-A-N-I underscore Masri M-A-S-R-I and he sent me this photo of a screenshot of the Canadian Toys R Us website and you guys can see there on the screen that it does say that we are going to be getting four new elites, guys. And the four new elites that we are going to be getting are as follows. We have WWE Page Elite Collection Action Figure. We have Cassius Ono Elite. We have Sonya Deville Elite. And we have Liv Morgan Elite. And the first thing that I thought was, okay, well, maybe that's Elite Series 69 Liv Morgan and Elite Series... 69 Sonya Deville, but if that were true, I don't know why they would give us Cassius Ono, and why would they give us Paige as well, because neither of those are a part of Elite Series 69, and the only thing that I can think of is maybe because uh, I think that Sonya Deville and Liv Morgan are both exclusives in the Elite Series 69 wave, I could be wrong, Sonya Deville may not be, but I think Liv Morgan is a uh, is an exclusive in the Elite Series 69, and maybe they knew that they'd be hard to track down, so they went ahead and added it here in this, and I don't know what what this is supposed to be. I don't know if a Toys R Us is going to be getting more like new exclusives. I really don't know what to make of this, if we're going to be getting more Elites, or if these are the Elite Series 69. But the main focus to me, guys, is the Page Elite. You know, we've seen images of this Page Elite before, and uh, I can't remember where this was unveiled. It was revealed somewhere. It was either at a Mattel booth, or Ag it wasn't at Axis, I don't think. But it was a long time ago, and they said it was supposed to be Walgreens exclusive. Remember, it was supposed to be Walgreens exclusive, and then I think Bill came out and said that it was canceled, or that the, the Walgreens exclusive part was canceled. I'm not sure what that deal is, but this Paige figure looked really good. It really looked just like Paige, and I was excited for it just because it, it looks so much better than her other figures, her Elite, and then her Basics. So I was excited for this Paige Elite figure, and then... We never got word on it. Same with that Naomi figure. You guys remember that Naomi figure that had the lime gr or the the glow in the dark SmackDown Live Women's Championship? To that was supposed to be a Walgreens exclusive. It's like uh, they they were gonna come out and then they just kind of backed out on it, but. Page Elite is definitely on this Toys R Us website, and I really don't know what to make of it. Again, I just wanted to bring this to your guys' attention. The one that I'm really in intrigued by is Cassius Ono, because I didn't think we'd ever get a Cassius Ono. You guys can see a couple customs here on the screen. Um, the one in the Chicago Bulls-inspired attire is from my boy Sh uh, Chargrove Customs. He's a very good customizer. Um, I don't think I've seen him post on Instagram in a long time, but he is one of the best in the game. He, he, he His work is so just ridiculously clean, and so so that is one of his customs. I don't know who made the other one, but uh, they both look really good. And this is probably what the Cassius Ono would look like if we got one. I doubt it would be any of those inspired attires. It would probably be one of his Cassius Ono attires. I mean, all, all obviously all of them are Cassius Ono, but you know what I mean. No, no likeness to any NBA teams or college basketball teams or any of uh, any of that stuff. I don't think they would do that. But I still would be intrigued by a Cassius Ono figure. You know, he hasn't really been doing anything in NXT after his feud with Matt Riddle. I don't believe he may have had some matches here and there, but. 
nothing crazy, nothing on the card, nothing on takeover. But he uh, he's a really good talent, and I think it's really cool that we uh, are getting a figure, or at least it's you know shown that we're going to be getting a figure according to this website. Maybe we'll know more at uh, San Diego Comic Con, which we covered in yesterday's video. We covered in our uh, our top figure once for San Diego Comic Con yesterday, and so I think that uh, we we will probably see all all four of these figures. We'll definitely see Elite Series 69 Liv Morgan, and we'll see Elite Series 69 Sonya Deville. But it'll be interesting to see if we actually see two different elites of those two, and will we see a Page and will we see a Cassius Ono? That will be very very interesting because I want to see if uh, if it, if we are indeed getting two Liv Morgans and two Sonya Deville's, or if this is the same figure. That is something that I'm trying to figure out, and I don't have any info on that. Just this uh, this screenshot here, and uh, I'll tell you this right now: I'm definitely not going to be buying any figure from Toys R Us that is going to be $30 before, sh oh, it says free shipping there when you spend $49, so you still have to, you still have to uh, pay for the shipping if you just wanted to buy the Cassius Ono, so that's kind of ridiculous, but, you know, uh, I guess I can understand, I mean, uh, no, 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 I'm not going to pay $30 for a brand new Elite figure, so... That is what I have to tell you guys today is just these four Toys R Us figures. I would love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of each one. But uh, I, I'm not huge on the women's figures, but I still wanted to you know bring this to you guys' attention. And the Cassius Ono is very intriguing. I'm very interested to see what they would do for it, what parts they would use and stuff like that. That has always been a guy that's sort of hard to make as far as customization. You need like that specific body mold. You need like that honky-tonk body mold. And you need that, uh, or is it the honky-tonk body mold or is it the... Uh, it's one of the, it's like the Iron Sheik body mold or something like that. I can't remember what exactly it is, but that figure has a very unique torso. And I don't know if they would give him the jersey look or if they would give him, you know, the thing like the shirtless look with a painted on torso. That's what I would expect. Something like the APA, but not as, as small because he's he was a big dude. Like Cassius Ono is a big dude. And so they would have to compensate for that in the figure. But I think that they would deliver on that. So very cool to see, and uh, I cannot wait to see, again, at San Diego Comic-Con, what we're going to get out of these four figures, and if they even show them, again, I, if they don't have any final products, or they don't have any prototypes, they'll definitely have renders of these figures, if we are indeed getting two different of the Liv Morgan and the Sonya Deville, but I think that's all that I have for you guys today, as far as WWE action figure news, again, we did cover all that stuff about Elite Series 70, Battle Pack 61, and the Basic Series 100, we, call, we covered all of that in the video the other day, and so uh, I didn't want to really, t I just wanted to touch on it here in this video. But in the in the ringside little promo package thing, they showed a picture of the SummerSlam Demon Finn Balor. And it looks really good, but I, I guess we may be getting two different Finn Balors. I think it's going to be the NXT Jack the Ripper figure is what this Elite Series 70 is going to be. But who knows? You know, you never know. And uh, it's it's worrisome. Because uh, I know that, you know, we've gotten the entrance grades, we've gotten the network spotlight. Both of those figures were sort of, you know, a special deal. They weren't just a regular part of the Elite line. We've never gotten a Demon Finn Balor in the regular Elite line with the correct torso. Every single time we've gotten a Demon Finn Balor in the regular Elite line, not any exclusives, not any special, you know, lines like entrance grades and all that stuff. Anytime it's been a part of the main Elite line, it's always, always the Daniel Bryan torso. We've seen it with the Elite Series 46 Beast in the East. We saw it in the Elite Series 59 with the, the night before SummerSlam. We saw it with the uh, the, the Elite 41. And um, we did see it with the SummerSlam figure. That was, you know, a special wave, but it wasn't like entrance greats. It was still like a regular Elite. It wasn't like entrance greats or network spotlight or nothing like that. But it wasn't a part of the main Elite line, which... I guess still counts as a different, you know, wave, but at the same time, I'm still worried about it. You guys remember the deal we made. If they do release that Finn Balor Jack the Ripper Elite figure, I will most definitely be uploading a video or in one of my videos, I will be uploading a portion in there, a snippet or something. It will be a video of me crying in the corner because that really will upset me. I really do not want to see that on a Finn Balor figure. We need that ripped up torso. I see people commenting about it already on Ringside's post. I saw many comments that said, please don't give him that small torso. Please give us the ripped up torso. Use the spot network spotlight torso. Use this, use that. So the community definitely knows that we want a Finn Balor with a ripped up torso. So hopefully that happens, guys. I'm very, very, very excited for San Diego Comic Con. We got about two and a half weeks left, I think, 16 days out or so. And it's going to be epic AF. I think 
think it starts not next Thursday, but the next Thursday, July 18th through the 21st. It's going to be a ton of new figures we're going to get on here. We're going to talk about them. We're going to reveal them. We're going to talk about all the pros, the cons, all the good stuff in between. And I cannot wait to do that. And we're going to cover everything. And hope to God, I hope to Jesus, I do not have to cry in the corner, guys. But I guess we will find out when San Diego Comic Con gets here. But tell me what you think down below about the Toys R Us four figures we see here. The Page, the Cassius Ono, the Liv Morgan, and the Sonya Deville. Comment down below what you think, guys. Again, I think I'm the most hyped about the Cassius Ono, if any of them, but uh, I, I'm, I'm hyped for them. So let's go ahead and comment down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a like. Again, comment down below on everything. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.